YouTube, CBR Rider 615 coming at you again. So, uh, yeah, I've got a real good topic now. This is the fucking way to ruin a day. So, uh, a few months ago, my, uh, my wife had a stray cat jump in her vehicle. The cat is friendly as can be. Um, you know, I mean, it was kind of iffy at first, and he always liked to go outside. And uh, so we let the cat outside all the time, you know, and he, he would always be gone all day, and he'd come back at night and sleep all night and go back out and just play during the day perfectly fine. Um, we had no idea what vaccinations he had or hadn't had, so we just kind of went with it. Well... Uh, one night, a couple weeks ago actually, uh, I was, well, pretty much sitting there and, uh, I heard the cat come back at night and, uh, he was just kind of meowing. So, I decided that, uh, you know, um, I'd, I'd go outside and I'd, I'd bring him back in the house since it was dark out, you know, we didn't want anything happening to him. And, uh, he bit me pretty good. So... You know, that actually resulted in an emergency room trip because, you know, we didn't know if he was vaccinated or not for anything. And, uh, you know, after that, um, everything checked out fine. You know, they just gave me prescribed medication for 10 days and they put him on quarantine for 10 days and said, okay, in 10 days, we'll come back and we'll check on him, make sure that everything's okay. And uh, we'll release him from quarantine or whatever so he can be, you know, do his normal thing. So today, after waiting forever for animal control to arrive, which I flat out told them that they were fucking late, I called the place and they're like, well, he should be there any minute. And I'm like, no, he needs to be here now, since you guys told me a time. And uh, he showed up and he looks at the cat and he's like, what the heck's wrong with the cat? I'm like, not a damn thing. And he's like, huh, he's like, looks like it looks like a pretty happy cat you know i mean just normal cat i'll, I'll I, I may post a picture of him in this video i don't know yet we'll see so if so insert picture here if not sorry um but basically he comes in looks at the cat writes down a couple things all right uh do you have a driver's license to make sure that everything matches up yeah that's fine so i'll give him my driver's license Goes out to his truck. Comes back. So, uh, yeah, I've issued you two citations. For what? Well, apparently, uh, he doesn't have a city license. At least by us. He may have a city license somewhere, but not through us. And we didn't vaccinate him for rabies either, so they gave us no rabies shot either. Even though he's probably had rabies, you know. I mean, he, he's a very, very well taken care of cat. You know, I mean, we, we know this. So, yeah, it ends up being $230 worth of citations, which is some fucking horse shit. I wanted to rip those tickets up right in front of that guy, but I decided not to. And he's like, well, as long as you get him, you know, vaccinated for uh, rabies and you uh, get a city license, uh, the court, you know, the, the, the fees will be dropped. You won't have to pay the citations. We'll just rip them up. And, you know, I said to him, like, well, you know, why don't I just rip them up now then? You know, because, I mean, again, he's not a real cop. He can't do shit. But, you know, it's just, it's just some bullshit because, you know, I mean, again, here we are taking in a cat that, you know, is actually very, very well taken care of. I mean, you can tell he's got very, very clean fur. It's not matted up. You know, he's not a fucking, you know, outdoor cat all the time. You know, he was obviously somebody's pet and he was very, very friendly. And uh, he, uh, you know, we just took care of him. So now I got to get him vaccinated for rabies and all that. And, uh get a city license and all that shit too and that'll cost me 30 bucks to get the license and 100 and some odd dollars for the vaccination for the rabies and stuff and uh you know i mean but i guess it's better than 230 dollars worth of citations but and i even told him i'm like we're gonna get his ear notch too so that way he can be outside and the animal control officer said oh well he has to be on a leash still well i got news for that animal control cop I don't respect you, 
I never will respect you. You're a piece of shit in society. And my cat's gonna do whatever the fuck he wants. I don't mind getting him vaccinated. Sure, why not? We were planning on doing that anyways. You know, but now... You know, we were just waiting for a different time to do it. But I guess we're gonna have to do it now. And, uh, you know, so the animal control cop, he, uh... He's kind of a douchebag, you know, go figure, whatever. And, uh, you know, that's just kind of my little rant for the day, you know. Just really fucking pissed me off, you know, I mean, I, God, you know, I mean, it's a fucking cat. You're going to give me $230 worth of citations? And then say, oh, well, if you get him vaccinated and, you know, go down and get the city license for the cat, then, you know, we'll just rip everything up. Well, then... What happens if he just stays inside and he doesn't go outside and, you know, he stays in my property? Then, you know, I don't need to get him vaccinated. Technically, he doesn't have to be vaccinated. You know, they want them to be, but it's not a requirement. And, you know, and that's just, that really fucking pissed me off. I mean, that that's, that set me to the fucking breaking point. I wanted to fucking, oh, so freaking pissed right now. But, you know, it's, <laughs> that guy must have heard me venting, but, uh, you know, and that's, that's just, you know, what, what I've been dealing with, you know, I mean, it fucking, at least fucking show up on time when you're supposed to. I sat there for an hour and a half waiting for the guy to show up, and he never showed up. You know, and then he finally showed up at the last minute, you know. And I'm like, well, that was a fucking waste of time. Like, I didn't even have to be here. You know. But, this pretty much just ends my rant, guys. I know it's not really much of a vlog topic, but it just, it just irked me. It, it, it really did. It, it made me so fucking mad. I, I, oh, so mad. But... I think I'm gonna uh, head to get some lunch and stuff, and uh, you know, once I get some lunch, uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do after that, but I'll probably just sit around and wait for a while. I mean, it's a beautiful day, but I got nobody to ride with, so it's kind of a lone solo type deal, and uh, unfortunately, that kind of sucks. But uh, you know, but, you know, I'm just going to leave it short, guys. I don't want to have this video super long. I'm uploading a couple more videos right now, so they'll be uploaded by the time this video gets uploaded. But, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, I just I just want to bring that out there, you know. I mean, fucking animal control and all that shit, they can, they can fucking find a deep fucking hole and fucking die. I understand, like, if an animal's being neglected, then animal control can get called, or if the animal's actually rabid and shit. But when he's a fucking harmless cat you know i mean i understand if it was like a dog bite and like really really fuck somebody up like they'd have fucking reconstructive surgery and that dog is fucking vicious all the time you know i understand call animal control for that but for a goddamn cat it's it's just it's pointless i mean it's it really is it's like do you guys have nothing better to do with your time and i i know everyone's gonna be like no no they don't but, you know, fucking $230 for fucking citations. They are out of their fucking minds. But guys, like I said, I don't want to have this video be super fucking long. And I'm actually going to go get some lunch and fucking feed my face. So, you know. Uh, but, you know, on that note. I guess just like, comment, subscribe. I'll upload more videos later. Maybe we'll do a group ride tonight. I'm not sure. But, uh. Yeah, stay tuned for more, guys. Peace.